Drop the gun! Show me your hand! Welcome to the Weekly Homicide Report, the weekly program where we talk about all the people that needlessly died at the hands of another person. Now let's take a look at this week's graph. Chicago reported 16 homicides for the second week in a row. Sticking to that same pace, they'll hit the 300 mark next week. Last year, they hit that number this week. So they're doing pretty good in Chicago. Philly is still doing its best to keep up with Chicago and reported nine homicides this week. Philly has 44 fewer homicides today than they had at this time last year. New York City reported six, which has been their average for the last couple months. Houston reported five this week, but I can say that number is not accurate as when the weekday shooting report comes out, you'll see that the number was much higher. Baltimore added five, New Orleans reported six, and is boasting a 21% decrease from this time last year. DC reported two, and is currently 10 higher than they were at this time last year. And now for some overall yearly totals, Kansas City, Missouri sits at 94, Las Vegas 90, the site's finally updated. Milwaukee, 78. They're reporting 31 fewer than they had it this time last year. Columbus, Ohio, 77. Birmingham, 68. Jackson, Mississippi, 52. This uh, number is finally updated. Portland, Oregon, 40. Minneapolis, 36. They're back to their old tricks as this week shows the number of homicides dropping instead of rising or staying the same. San Francisco, 25. Seattle, 22. And Rochester, New York, 21. There were 12 mass shootings. That might sound like a big number, but for a week in the summer, that's actually really good. Two kids under the age of 11 and 35 between 12 and 17 were fatally shot. Those numbers are both pretty typical. There were 23 reported defensive use of a firearm incidents. And I'm back covering these after taking a couple weeks off due to issues with my channel. We didn't lose any officers in the line of duty, and only one was reported injured by gunfire, but we did lose K-9 Harry from the Shreveport, Louisiana Police Department. He's the third K-9 to die from a heat stroke this year. He was tracking a suspect with his handler, and temperatures were in the 90s with a heat index well above 100 degrees. Thank you for your service, K-9 Harry. Well, that's all I have for you today, but I'll be back next week with the Week 27 numbers. Till then, have a great week. And I'll catch you next week.